the ink is still drying, as a new dawn approaches in Belgrade. This is the start of the People's Club, the start of Red Star Belgrade under the management of David Bapt. Hello folks and welcome to the new series, the main series. Hope you enjoyed my better, but now it's time for my main challenge. This is the People's Club with Red Star Belgrade. Hope you're all doing well. I um, hope you're enjoying FM21 so far. Make sure to leave a comment below, tell me what you like, what you don't like. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to go through Red Star. We're going to go through their team, who they are, blah, blah, blah. You know, a background for you guys, okay? So let's just have a quick look on this screen first. So they're going to bring in their 75th season. Not bad. With me. Um, eyebrows have been raised, always happens. Um, Penny Paper replacing Dejan Stankovic. And lacks the reputation of a title specialist, which, given the club's current ambition, creates an intriguing dynamic as they try and tend to challenge for major honours. Now, this is where it's going to get interesting. So we're going to look at the next screen first, and then it's going to get interesting. Then I'm going to tell you the main challenge of this save. So you can see they've won everything. Champions League. Intercontinental Cup. Serbian Super League. Yugoslavian First League. The Yugoslav Cup. What have we got here? Serbian Cup. We've got the Mitropa Cup. And the Yugoslavian Soviet. So let's just read through this background, okay? So for 1945, so 75 years, um, they won the Serbian Super League in 2020. We play at the Rako Mitic, um, which is a 55,000 capacity stadium. Recently, we're Scotland won thanks to Davy Marshall. Yeah, I'm not going to be liked by the people on Serbia if I keep doing that. Um, <laughs> Let's see what else. Um, we've got great training facilities, excellent youth facilities, which is something I love. Uh, fierce rivals are Partizan Belgrade and Dynamo Zagreb, which makes sense because Croatia is part of Yugoslavia. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be interesting. So, this is what the season our best formation and best team. It's close to what I'm going to be playing. Um, that's interesting. We've got someone on loan from. That is Saudi Arabia, Sekoui Sanogo. Nice, 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 nice. And um, we'll go through tactics and whatnot. This is all the players will go out, so I'll suddenly go through them. As you can see, I've got face packs and badges. I've went really well. Um, club culture. Sign high players. Develop players using club youth system. Do not sign players over age 32. That kind of contradicts that one, because I've got a player in mind right now, but... And play attack of football. Attack of football, yep. Cool. Sort it. Um, yep, yep, and yep. There we go. Done. Dusted. Right. Well, the saves, I'm going to go over. What you need to know about the save. What you need to know about Red Star Belgrade. Well, what I'm going to be doing with them anyway. So, sorry, I've got paper here, but on this side it tells me everything. So if you've seen my um, FM21 preview video, you'll know the idea for the save. If you've not, then here's a little hello there for you. The goal for this is for Red Star Belgrade to become the first ever Serbian side to win the UEFA Champions League. Simples. Um, however, the second goal is to win the Champions League made up of 10 players from the former Yugoslavian Republic. So, where I can bring players in from is Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Kosovo, Montenegro, North Macedonia, Serbia, obviously, and Slovenia. That is the challenge. Um, so, I'm just making sure I've got the else written down here. So, it's a unique challenge. One that I've sent myself, and I'm like, yeah, that's going to be fine. And now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, is it though? I mean, is it really? 
going to be that fine? Is it going to be that easy? No, no, nothing's easy in this game, okay? Yes, I've chosen a big reputation team, but they've got history in the, in the Champions League. That's why I chose them. I want to bring back the glory years for the rest of our fans. Krishna Zavenda. I think that's how you pronounce their actual name. We call them Red Star Belgrade. That is their um, Serbian name. So I'm going to pause this now while I meet the media and things like that. And then we'll come back and we'll look over the team and then we will um, run through the tactics that I've got set up. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so I want to bring you back here because there's a couple of things that we need to show you. So the Serbian Super League, we can have a maximum. That's a maximum of 30 players. Okay. Then we've got the Europa League stuff. However, look at the rules. The following rules will be enforced for the following season. The match squad must have no more than four foreign players. So what I want to do, you know, if I can neutralise them, perfect. The squad must have no more than 30, which we've already discussed. The match squad must have at least four under-21s. And I'll go into that in a minute. And there must be at least two under twenty ones in the starting uh, playing eleven for the first half of the game. So I need to have two younger players starting every game. Hmm. This is gonna be such a good youth challenge. I love youth challenges, so program. Let's go have a look at the squad together. And then I'm gonna introduce you to our reserves stroke of our team and I'm gonna show you our under nineteens because I've already noticed tasty couple of gems so well, let's go do that so this is our um, squad now I'm noticing that our best players are 29 30 odds which you know to be expected there's a guy here called Ben now I believe he is somewhere in Africa he's from Comoran Comoran I don't know it's that then that's a the guy that we've got from the Saudi team and this is another Gabonese guy. So there's quite a few Africans. Now, we've got this guy attacking midfield left. He's 19 years old. Looks really good for 19. We've got this guy, Petrovic. I can say his name, no bother. 20 years old, central mid. He'll be really good. And Nikolic, attacking midfield. Once again, really good. Finishing, meh. But apart from that, it's really good. So, we have got talent everywhere. Now, our best striker is this guy, Milan Pakov, Pakov, Pavkov. He's only got 13 finishing, so I might look to bring a new Serbian striker. Now, as I was saying, there's loads of potential. Look, there's this guy here, 16 years old. Uh, Mattia, look at the hair on that. That hair is amazing. Um, that's Petrovic again. This is this guy. Garvich, which we've already seen, Nikolic, Illic, who is away on loan at the moment, but he looks good. He is a DM, it's a position I like. So, and there's more. We've got a 17 year old goal, 18 year old goalkeeper, 17 year old right wing. So, I may end up having to look at the wings. You'll see what I mean by that with formations in a moment. Um, so, I was going to show you the development centre because I just want to show you a few tasty numbers that I found. So, First of all, this we've got the under 19, we've got um Graficar. Now I'm believing Graficar is like our equivalent of Castilla, which is the Real Madrid B team. If I've got that wrong, let me know. There's a couple of Serbs. Um, room for gaming if you're watching this, let me know. So we've got this guy here, okay? Vanja Panic, who's Slovenian. If he gets neutralised, then brilliant. He's only 18 years old. He looks good. I don't know how long it takes for them to get um, tightened out. They need to gain nationality 547 days. So a year and a half. That's not bad. We can work with that. So if I bring in a Brazil, This is up to you. I want you to tell me if I bring in a Brazilian or an Argentinian who's a wonder kid, he's neutralised, does he count as Serbian or does he need to appear for a Serbian national team? Your decision. Let me know. Um. But that's a few taste numbers in the 19s. There's also a few blacked out players. You know, faces. But, yeah, we've got Mitrovic. Hopefully he doesn't miss a penalty. Hey! Oh, God, the service is going to hate. And this is in the 
Gra graphic car, Beograd, which I believe is another part of um, Belgrade. I could be wrong. So we've got this guy, Borisov Burmaz, looks alright. Young after his striking can develop. Erikov, he's my kind of defender. He looks good. So that's basically that covered off. Um, I don't, I've not looked at transfers or anything like that. So let's go look at the transfers that's already been done. So we've brought in these players. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We've luckily like these players. Um, no names are jumping out at me. Maybe Village. Yeah, Village is alright. And then Tomani. Well, he's Portuguese, so yeah, that's alright. Now tactics is what I want to talk to you about. So we've got two tactics, okay? We've got an attacking tactic. We've got a defensive tactic. Now, my thinking in that is, we go to Champions League and we play Real Madrid. Do you want to all, all attack Real Madrid? No, because you can bet 6 and 7 nil. We want to defend. So, I'll show you that second. But this is going to be my main tactic, okay? It's called the Davy Marshall. I'm telling you, I'm going to win. No friends in Serbia. Um, I might even bring in Davy Marshall. Who knows? Um, so, this is a... A 5 2 2 1, a 3 4 2 1, whatever you want to call it, okay? I'm going to call that a 5 4 1. Because that's the way I see it, okay? We've got 5 defenders, 4 sort of midfielders, and 1 attack. That's what I see it. So that's what I'm calling a, four, a 5 4 1, okay? So it's, this is more about short passing and quickness and things like that. It's a tick attacker. I love a tick attacker. Now, for our second formation, which is called the Stevie Clark. I told you, I'm going to make so many friends in Serbia. Um, same kind of thing again. Five at the back, two in mid, four because we've got two wingers instead of two centres. So I can do that with other one. I can move them to two wingers if I need to. Um, and a guy up front. Um, so as I was saying there before, my phone went off. This is more defensive for Champions League. At the moment, in a few years, we won't be playing the defensive football. But it's only for these games where we need to do it. So, that's why we're doing it. Bulk out. Um, but yeah, so I want to show you the expectations of what the board expected in my first season. And then we'll decide where we're going back for the very first ever time together in Belgrade. So it's plain and simple. Win the league. Win the cup. And then reach the third qualifying round. Now, we are in the first qualifying round. So I don't know who's in that, if it'll show me yet. So let's go find out if it does. European Champions Cup. First preliminary round. No. No idea. So let's look at our schedule for the moment. Um, first game is against Metallic. Metallic. Metallica. Whatever you want to call them. Um, on the 1st of August. So guess what? That's where we're coming back. And it's our first home game. Let's get the fans inside. Let's get them rolling. Let's get the atmosphere up there. But ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for sticking through this introduction video. It's going to be my pleasure to bring this to you. I hope you enjoy it. Now, people are like, okay, I like Target and Kenneth. I don't want to like Target. I don't want anything like that. What I do want is your enjoyment. So if you enjoy this, leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel. Comment. Um, follow me on Twitter, FM underscore Edinburgh. Follow, follow me on Twitch, FM underscore Edinburgh as well. Because I can guarantee you there will be new stuff coming out. Very soon. I'm not going to reveal anything quite yet. But I'm waiting on a certain database coming out. That's all I'm saying on the matter. But apart from that guys. And girls. Thank you for listening to me for the last. What 15 minutes. I hope you've enjoyed this. hope you've enjoyed the introduction to. Red Star Belgrade. Any questions. Fire them at me. And I can try to answer them for you. And also. I'll see you later now. Namaste. Bye-bye now.